Hi, so thanks for joining me today, Joachim. Um, we're going to talk today um, about the challenges that um, SAP customers face and how Snow Optimizer for SAP software um, resolves some of those challenges and the, and the way in which it does it. Um, so I'd like to start by talking about the license administration workbench, so the, the, the yearly process that um, SAP customers have to undertake. It's quite a, a challenge for those, those customers. Can you explain to me why that is? Well, you can imagine that if a customer has maybe dozens or even hundreds of SAP systems, mm. and the last measurement was one year ago, that a lot of things have changed in the SAP environment. Uh, new users have been created, old users are uh, can maybe be deleted. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of users will have changed their role in the organization, so they might need a different license now. And all these things have to be cleaned up before you do the measurement. Otherwise, the measurement result is just incorrect. Mm. Uh, and that can take a long time. Um, so a lot of the SAP customers we speak with, they say, well, the bigger ones, they say, OK, we need maybe three months to do the measurement process. Mm. So you're almost, by the time you've finished one, almost onto the, onto yeah. the, the, the next yeah. one. Yeah. Right, OK. And I suppose it's even changing during that period. So yeah, yeah, so if, if, it, if it takes three months, you can imagine that after three months, uh, even, even after uh, that period, some, uh, some things have changed already. Mm. Yeah, OK. So can you, can you explain to me how um, Snow Optimizer for SAP software helps with that, how it aids the, um, those customers? Yeah, so we can put uh, both automation and science into the process. Mm. With automation, uh, I mean that we can automate the process by creating a rule set in the Snow Optimizer to uh, uh, speed up the process so it's not no longer a manual work, but it's an automated process. And with science, I mean we can base recommendations in the rule set on actual usage mm. of the users. So it's no longer kind of a guesswork like it is today for uh, most of the SAP customers. Uh, but but the result is really uh, um, a result based on real data in the SAP systems. Okay, that's interesting. So I, I take from that as well that what that means is that you can look at particular users and understand exactly what it is that they do and therefore what license they require. So that then means that users who join the organization can have a a recommended license type for them, rather than um, to be to be given a, a higher license type, maybe, um, just so that they yeah. they get everything that they need. Yeah. So usually, an organization when somebody uh, joins the organization, um, nobody knows what this person will do in the SAP systems. Mm. So he usually gets the authorization like his colleague in the same room or in the same department, but this ends up in having a lot of users, too much authorizations in the system, mm. and this also ends up in having these users too expensive licenses. So mm. the most expensive license in SAP is the professional license. And a lot of users normally have these professional licenses, but they don't need it. Mm.